Okay, so back in September I made a short video going over two of the free programs I personally use to create animations. And as I said in my how to download paint.net video, I never expected that it would get so much attention really. But with all the views it's still getting, I'm still receiving a lot of questions that are mostly about the same issues. For that reason, I decided to make a few follow-up videos to address all the various issues that everyone is wondering about. So uh, here we go. In the last video I went over the question, how do I download paint.net? Now I'll knock out the rest of these in one go. So question number two is a big one. Slow down and explain how you're making frames. I hear this one probably more than anything else. First of all, let me say this clearly. I am not an illustrator. If you want to know how I know how to do this, I googled it. Plain and simple, you can google literally anything. I'm not sure if everyone is aware of that. For example, how to draw a walk cycle. Enter. Boom. You see all these results? Just pick one and recreate them the best you can using paint.net. You can do that with pretty much anything. But I will say that the more movement you add to your animation, the more tedious it'll become to animate using this method. If that disappoints some of you, well, I'm sorry, but again, this is a very old method for animating that hacks two freeware programs that aren't strictly designed for this. If you have the money to shell out for high-end animation software, then honestly, you should do that. Okay, moving on. Question number three. How do layers work? Well, I'll show you by recreating part of the walk cycle. First, open paint.net. Look down here. There's a little box on the lower right hand corner labeled layers. On the lower left hand side of the layers box there's another smaller opaque box with a little green plus sign. Click that to add a new layer. Then you can check or uncheck the individual layers so that they overlap. Be careful to make sure that the layer you're working on is highlighted or you may end up drawing over previous work. P.S. Use the magic wand to transparent the background. Fourth button down on the left in your items toolbar. Click to highlight and press the delete button on your keyboard. So you can start by drawing your first frame using something you searched on Google for reference. If you're like me and not a particularly good artist, don't worry. Start slowly, work your way up to more advanced drawings as you go. Once you finish with the first layer, create a new layer. Remember to always make sure the new layer is selected so you don't draw over your last drawing. Choose a drawing method here from your toolbar on the upper left hand side. Play around with them. Uh, select whatever you feel most comfortable with for drawing. I'm going to use the line curve tool for the sake of this video, but it's not always my default tool. It just depends on what I'm, whatever I'm working on. When you're finished with all your layers, the easiest way to save them is by opening a new project and copy and pasting them layer by layer. You should probably create a specific folder for your frames. And I also recommend naming them 1234 or ABCD or something like that so you can keep the order straight when you load them into your video editor later on. And the last question I receive a lot is question number four. And that is, why does this suck? 
Well, it sucks because it's free. Uh, this isn't really what these programs were designed to do. Also, it takes practice and patience. There are many reasons why it sucks. But it's free, and after all, anything that is worth doing takes, takes work, it takes effort. Just so everyone knows, this is something I do as a hobby. And this is what I personally use to make various animations. I just thought that the friendly thing to do would be to share it with the world because not everyone has a fucking MacBook Pro and $500 to spare for software like Adobe Photoshop and Sony Vegas Pro Edit. So if you happen across this video and you don't like what you see, or maybe uh, you take it as far as as trying out the method and decide, well, you know what, this is shit. Well, again, I say to you, it's free. This is free. So, by all means, uninstall paint.net and try something else. And, you know, I wish you great luck in whatever you find that works for you eventually. But, uh, as one broke-ass person to all the other broke-ass people out there, I'm just giving you options. You make your own choices. So, take from this what you will, and I hope it helps. Until next time, peace.